part where we cross our fingers. Oh, it seems to be working. So I probably heard about Ben class in 2013, around the time that he filed the application with the CRTC. I wouldn't have been, I don't believe I was aware of him before that. Ben Klass, who at the time was a graduate student in Manitoba, uh, identified a particular problem with Canada's largest provider, Bell. And so Bell is large not just because that they are because they're a large wireless and internet provider, but also today because they're also Canada's largest broadcaster. They're the largest providers of radio, owner of radio stations in the country. They're really, uh, it's hard to look at communications in Canada and not see Bell crop up in almost every instance. Um, he strikes me as very thoughtful, very engaged, uh, very passionate about the subject matter. Um, I was very impressed with his application. Um, this industry, certainly this type of law, tends to be uh, on the more complex side, more complicated. It's certainly, um, I think, um, if you're not, if you don't live and breathe the subject matter, if you're an outsider looking in, it can be often very confusing and difficult to understand. So I commended Ben for, first of all, getting up to speed on all the nomenclature and all the various <coughs> legislative and policy regimes. Another thing that we haven't mentioned from Ben's early childhood, he's weirdly good at Lego. He sometimes he would do the most complicated Legos, and he would even when he was a little boy, he used to ask me if he could skip dinner because he was he just had to keep doing this Lego. Ben proves that, yeah. A common citizen, if they have the, uh, if they're diligent and have the patience to go through the process, can make a real difference.